Have you ever heard of China's C919 aircraft? Most people have. It's been in commercial service for over a year. But here's the surprising part. Very few have actually flown on it. Despite all the buzz online, for many, it's still just a name. Now China is taking a massive leap forward. In early February 2025, the country announced that its next-generation aircraft, the C929, is about to enter the test flight stage. This isn't just another plane. It's a wide-body, long-range passenger jet that could challenge global aviation giants like Boeing and Airbus. Why does this matter? Because the C929 represents more than technology. It's a statement. A statement that China isn't just producing planes for domestic routes anymore. It's aiming to compete at the very top of international aviation. Imagine an aircraft capable of flying from Shanghai to London or Beijing to New York without stopping, carrying hundreds of passengers comfortably, and doing so with engines and systems built almost entirely in China. This announcement shocked the West. Aviation experts and international media suddenly realized that China's ambitions weren't just talk, they were about to take to the skies. In this video, we'll take you through the fascinating story of how China got here, what makes the C929 so special, and why it could reshape the global aircraft industry forever. To understand the C929, we first need to look back at China's aviation journey with the C919. Launched in 2022, the C919 quickly grabbed attention. It's a single-aisle, medium-sized aircraft primarily used for domestic flights, capable of carrying about 168 passengers and flying roughly 4,000 kilometers. For China, the C919 wasn't just a plane, it was a symbol. The first step toward building a homegrown commercial aviation industry that could stand on its own. But even before the C919 was finished, Chinese engineers were thinking bigger. They dreamed of a long-range, wide-body aircraft that could fly across continents. That dream became the C929. Work on the C929 started as early as 2015, originally as a joint project with Russia under the name CR929. The idea was ambitious. Combine China's manufacturing and design experience with Russia's expertise in engine technology and material engineering to create an aircraft capable of competing with the likes of Boeing 787 and Airbus A350. From the very beginning, the goal was clear. China wanted a plane that could fly farther, carry more passengers, and eventually make its mark on the global aviation stage. But turning that vision into reality wouldn't be easy. The journey would be full of technical challenges, international politics, and unprecedented innovation. The stage was set. China had proven it could build a domestic plane with the C919. Now the real test was whether it could leap into the world of long-range, wide-body aircraft with the C929. Developing a wide-body, long-range aircraft like the C929 is no small feat. In the early days, China teamed up with Russia's United Aircraft Corporation to combine strengths. China would handle the final assembly and bring its growing manufacturing experience, while Russia would contribute technical know-how, particularly in engine design and materials. Together, they invested over $2 billion to bring the C929 to life, then called the CR929. At first, everything seemed on track. The partnership allowed China to accelerate its learning curve in areas that had previously been challenging. But in 2021, unexpected events threw the project off course. Russia became embroiled in a conflict with Ukraine, which redirected much of its technical workforce from civilian projects to military efforts. As a result, the civilian CR929 development faced significant delays. By 2022, Russia officially withdrew from the project, leaving China to carry the mission alone. While Russia still supplied some aircraft components, the bulk of research, design, and assembly now fell entirely on Chinese engineers. Many observers doubted whether China could overcome the technical difficulties of developing such a large, wide-body plane on its own. After all, building a long-range commercial jet 
is even more complex than constructing a military transport aircraft. Yet, China pressed on. Engineers adapted, innovated, and took full ownership of the project. What followed would surprise the world. Despite the enormous challenges, China kept the C-929 on course for its first test flight, demonstrating resilience and technological capability that, honestly, few had expected. Now let's dive into what makes the C-929 truly special. Unlike the C-919, which is a single-aisle, medium-range plane for domestic flights, the C-929 is a wide-body, long-range aircraft designed for international travel. It can carry 280 passengers, nearly twice as many as the C-919, and has an impressive maximum range of 12,000 kilometers. To put that in perspective, that's enough to fly non-stop from Shanghai to New York or Beijing to London. One of the most remarkable features is the engine. The C929 will be powered by China's domestically produced CJ2000 engine. Originally designed for the C919 but not used due to safety concerns, this engine is now upgraded for the C929 boasting 35 tons of thrust. Its large fan diameter of 3 meters and efficient fuel consumption make it quieter and more cost-effective than comparable international engines. In fact, it surpasses the 33-ton engine used in the Boeing 787 in both size and efficiency. The aircraft's structure is also a leap forward. Over 50% of the airframe uses carbon fiber composites, and titanium alloy accounts for 15% which is, honestly, far higher than typical narrow-body planes. This combination reduces weight, increases fuel efficiency, and enhances performance. The wingspan measures nearly 65 meters, wider than the Boeing 787, which, you know, requires careful engineering to maintain stability in all flight conditions. In short, the C929 is not just a bigger C919, it's a highly advanced, long-range, wide-body aircraft with cutting-edge materials, a powerful domestic engine, and design features built to compete on the international stage. Its technology ensures efficiency, comfort, and safety, positioning it as a serious contender against global aviation giants. So. How does the C929 stack up against aviation heavyweights like the Boeing 787 and Airbus A350? On paper, it's already a serious competitor, and in some areas, it even outperforms them. First, passenger comfort. The C929's cabin width is 5.5 meters, slightly wider than the Boeing 787 at 5.28 meters and the Airbus A350 at 5.34 meters. That extra space may seem small on paper, but honestly, it makes a noticeable difference on long-haul flights. Passengers have more room to stretch their legs, adjust their seats, and enjoy a more comfortable journey, reducing fatigue on trips that can last over 12 hours. Next, efficiency. Thanks to its high proportion of composite materials and the powerful, fuel-efficient CJ2000 engine, the C929 consumes less fuel than similar models. This translates into lower operating costs for airlines, which could mean cheaper tickets and more competitive pricing on international routes. The C929 also incorporates advanced avionics and 10 core systems, including navigation, communication, and hydraulic systems, along with real-time monitoring. These systems help optimize flight performance, safety, and environmental impact, bringing it in line with international standards. In essence, the C929 isn't just another plane. It's a statement that China is ready to compete at the highest level of civil aviation. Its combination of comfort, efficiency, and advanced technology makes it a direct challenge to Boeing and Airbus, who have dominated this market for decades. One of the most impressive aspects of the C929 is how it demonstrates China's growing independence in aviation. You know, when the C919 was being developed, it relied heavily on parts from Western countries, including engines produced by a U.S.-France joint venture. This created a vulnerability. At critical moments, Western countries could exert pressure by restricting the supply of key components. 
The C929 changes that completely. It will be equipped with the domestically produced CJ2000 engine, giving China full control over one of the most critical parts of the aircraft. The plane also relies on a high percentage of locally manufactured components and intellectual property developed in China. In short, it is an aircraft built from the ground up with self-reliance in mind. This independence isn't just about pride, it has major strategic and economic implications. Airlines around the world can no longer assume that China's aviation projects are dependent on Western technology. By controlling design, production, and critical components, China is safeguarding its civil aviation industry against geopolitical risks and laying the foundation for long-term global competitiveness. The C929 is just the beginning. China's civil aviation ambitions don't stop here. COMAC, China's commercial aircraft corporation, already has plans for even larger and more advanced aircraft, such as the C939 and C949. These projects aim to push the boundaries of passenger capacity, range, and technology. To wrap it all up, the C929 isn't just another airplane. It's a statement. From its impressive 12,000-kilometer range and 280 passenger capacity to its advanced CJ2000 engines and high-tech materials, it represents China's leap into the world of long-range, wide-body commercial aviation. Compared to the C919, it's bigger, stronger, and built for international skies. But the story goes beyond specs. The C929 shows China's resilience in overcoming obstacles, from losing Russia's support to bypassing Western restrictions. It signals that China is ready to compete with aviation giants like Boeing and Airbus, offering passengers comfort, efficiency, and a modern flying experience. Looking ahead, projects like the C939 and C949 promise an even more ambitious future. Larger, faster, and possibly supersonic aircraft that could redefine global aviation. The C929 is just the start of a journey that could make China a central player in the skies by 2049. If you want to stay updated on these breakthroughs and witness the rise of China's aviation industry, make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications. You won't want to miss the next chapter in this high-flying story.